Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today uh, I'm looking at a pen accessory. Now there are lots of different ways to keep your pen safe, uh, lots of different styles of cases, sleeves, slips, all those sorts of things uh, and something that's become quite popular recently are things like little pen kimonos, these little fabric uh, pen sleeves uh, if you will. Uh, and today I'm looking at uh, a range of them from an Australian uh, producer, lady who makes these, uh, Alexandra. She uh, sells them on Etsy at uh, Zinziba Designs, which I will link to uh, down below. Uh, so these are made in Australia. She uses a range of different materials, as you, you'll see, um, fabrics and all that sort of stuff. Some recycled from um, other garments and things like that. So uh, things that would normally be uh, thrown away are repurposed, which is awesome. And uh, it gives you some really interesting sorts of um, little pen sleeves. Um, so let's have a look at a couple. Um, I've got quite a few here, so I'm going to start with uh, a fairly sort of standard one. Uh, here we have, you know, a nice little fabric with the little string around um, and opens up to reveal the, the opening there. Uh, these are all lined uh, and then where you would keep the pen. So why would you use one of these? Well, these can be used for transporting a pen. You could put this in your bag or uh, whatever. It could be used for storing a pen. If you've got particularly nice pens that you don't want rattling around in a drawer uh, or whatever, uh, then these are a really nice way of uh, keeping them clean and safe uh, and they're really well made. The sewing is good quality. Uh, the fabrics, as I said, are interesting. Lots of different fabrics. Um, I'll give you a couple of examples here. So we've got some denim, we've got um, a, a retired suit. Uh, if you will, uh, which I call the Mr. Corporate pen sleeve. Uh, and then, yeah, a range of other different uh, materials. And, you know, the, the basic design is the same, but as you can see, the sizes vary, the materials vary, and the cuts all sort of tend to vary. So, what are we looking at? Well, I'll go back to this original one. Uh, and you've got basically, as I said, a sleeve, line sleeve with a string so you put your pen in and I'll just here use a Lamy Safari uh, slide the pen down into the pen sleeve tuck it over roll it up tuck the string in and depending on which way you wind it it'll be shorter or longer and there you have it it's safe it's secure it's not going to get damaged great way to send pens in the mail as well really nice way to present them um, so yeah what I want to do quickly is to show a couple of the different basic designs that we have. So as you can see here, this is the sort of standard single. And then we have a, what I consider to be sort of a, a standard double. Now the double has uh, two uh, slots. So the, the seam down the middle here is sewn through, allowing you to fit two fountain pens in uh, and without them touching, which is really nice because you don't necessarily want expensive pens sort of bumping against each other. Now, as, as you can see, there's a huge range of different sizes uh, of this and the, with the different fabrics and the different um, ribbons and all of that. Uh, some have a low opening, some have a slightly higher opening. So uh, there's a r wide range of these available on her uh, Etsy page. Uh, and she will also do custom uh, sleeves as well if you are uh, interested in having something particular made. Now what I'm going to do very quickly is I have a range of pens here. So um, what do I have? Everything from the Gamma uh, Super uh, Jumbo Acrylic, Pilot Metropolitans, Slim, um, the Faber-Castell Neo Slim, Sailor uh, Pro Gear Slim, whatever it's called, Safari, Jin Hao 159, Trisby Eco, Pilot Elite, and of course the Kaveco Lilliput. Huge range of pens, different sizes. Let's try them in a few different cases. So let's start with the double here. So if I put a Lamy Safari down here, so the two standard pens and a Twisby Eco. Nice and comfortable fit. Uh, pen's nice and secure. And as I said, you wrap it around, tuck it in wherever it ends up. And those pens, safe and secure. Um, these are not a, a, a new product. You know, they're just, uh, Australian made, of course the fabrics aren't all Australian made, uh, but the uh, the handiwork, the craft work is done here in uh, Melbourne and uh, always nice to support sort of people doing things locally and on a scale where, uh, you know, we're talking about a you know, sort of a um, one woman operation 
you know, in her lounge room, uh, making these because she loves it and selling them on uh, Etsy to provide us all with really nifty, cool little ways of storing our pens. So um, there is this, this one I really quite like. So this is the smallest of the ones that I was provided with to have a look at. Uh, and it's got a nice little lining and one again, this is one of the deeper um, openings. So if you had something like, let's try Alami Safari in there. So Alami Safari, which isn't a small pen, fits really nicely. But I think where this particular sort of case is gonna be really handy is the things like the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, which fits in there beautifully. Um, but also things like the, yeah, the, Pilot Elite, um, or the, even you know, the Faber-Castell Neo Slim, anything like that, all these pens are going to fit really nicely and comfortably in this little sleeve. So you can provide her with measurements if you want to, uh, or colours that you have preference for. Just contact her on her page and see what she's into, what she's got. So this uh, standard one here, as I've shown you already, uh, if you try the, the Jumbo Acrylic in there, fits really well. You could fit two pens in here if you wanted to have them two sort of touching uh, without too much of an issue. Uh, but I think one pen in a case like this is absolutely perfect. And as you can see, it holds a big pen. A small pen is gonna get lost in a pen sleeve this size. Um, I can't see, tell if you can quite see, but like that's sort of the length we're getting. So if you fold it over, then there's still a lot of room for that pen to move around, um, which isn't necessarily an issue, just something to be aware of. These are a really nifty little cute item for your pen. If you're interested in uh, storing your pens in an interesting way or uh, you know, sending them or, or traveling with them or anything, this is a, uh, I like these as, as an option. Of course, there are sort of leather sleeves and cases and more formal ways that you can, you know, things you can use, of course. Um, but these have personality and I think that's actually what's quite nice is that nowhere else are you going to get a, a pen sleeve that looks like this. These little sort of nice little kimono with the, these sorts of materials or one that's so customizable, you know, to what you are after. So as I said, it's Inzibur Design. Check it out on Etsy. I've linked it below. Um, she also sells bags and pencil cases and those sorts of pouches and all that sort of thing. So her sewing is really good quality. Um, she knows what she's doing. Um, so check them out and support a little Australian maker there um, doing something that's different, individual, and that we all love. And if it's something you're interested in, then why not? So I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Uh, please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore me, um, where you can uh, check out what I'm up to and I'd love to see what you're up to over there. Uh, so yeah, get in touch if there are products you think I should be looking at or if there are ways you'd like to support this channel. And as I said, always support Australian uh, producers where you can. I want to try and feature more Australian content on this site. I'm happy to show any content on this site, but you know, Australian content being an Australian content creator here, uh, why not support Australian uh, products as well? So yeah, get in touch if there's a way you'd like to support this channel, support Australian makers. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy your pen cases, whatever they may be, but check these ones out. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.